Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see a one more session in discrete mathematics that is Hamiltonian graphs. So in our previous session we have seen the planar graphs and isomorphic graphs and today we'll see what is a Hamiltonian graphs. So before going to this Hamiltonian graphs, so when we will be calling a graph as a Hamiltonian, we have to learn the two concepts called Hamiltonian path and Hamiltonian cycle. So two things we have to learn, Hamiltonian path and Hamiltonian cycle. So we know the difference between path and cycle. So when we start from one position and visiting different places and keeps on moving towards the destination, so that we call it as a path. And similarly, when we start from one position visiting all the destinations and come back to your source position, that is called as a cycle. So here also the Hamiltonian path is completely different with the Hamiltonian cycle. So we know that a graph will be a collection of vertices and the corresponding edges. So Hamiltonian path means visiting all the vertices exactly once from the source vertex from the source vertex so starting from one source visiting all other vertices exactly once that is the most important vertices exactly once Okay, so all the vertices of the graph should be visited exactly once. That is called as a Hamiltonian path. So, obviously, we know that here the source vertex and destination vertex. are different. So if the source and destination vertex are same, that implies it forms a cycle. So obviously for Hamiltonian path, the source vertex and the destination vertex should be different. Okay. So for example, you can consider A, B, C, D, E. So if you consider this particular graph, so you can see Hamiltonian path means visiting all the vertices exactly once. You can select any vertex as a start vertex. Right? So before going to the Hamiltonian cycle, let me explain. So let us consider the start or source vertex is A. So that means we have to start travel from vertex A. We have to visit all the vertices exactly once. So I can go with A, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E. Similarly, you can start with a B, B to A, a to C, C to D, D to E. So, in this way, there will be a many paths. So, one graph can have a multiple Hamiltonian paths. So, here you can see we are starting from A or B. B. Okay. So, in this source vertex is A. In this source vertex is B. So, starting from B, listing all vertices exactly once. So this is called as a Hamiltonian path. Now, 
coming to the hamiltonian circuit circuit hamiltonian circuit or a cycle so anything you can call it so visiting all the vertices exactly once from the source vertex and return back to source so we have to start from source we have to visit all the vertices exactly once and just come back to the source so here source vertex and destination vertex should be same must be same source and destination must be same and now you can observe the same example if you observe the same example see a to b so i i will consider this part so we have seen that this is a hamiltonian path so start from a a to b b to c c to d d to e so this is hamiltonian path now from e it have to move on with a okay it have to go back to source because all the vertices has been visited but you can see there is a no direct energy from e to a and that should be done with the help of c e to c c to a but you can see the vertex c has been visited twice but here visiting all the vertices exactly once from the source vertex and return back to source so that we call it as a hamiltonian cycle or hamiltonian graph so this is not or you can say no hamiltonian cycle no hamiltonian cycle but hamiltonian path so the hamiltonian path is there but there is no hamiltonian cycle so both are different so we can say so if any graph is having hamiltonian path it doesn't mean that it will be having the hamiltonian cycle okay now let us see the definition of hamiltonian graph if any graph is having hamiltonian cycle or hamiltonian circuit then such graph is called as a hamiltonian graph so it doesn't depends upon the hamiltonian path right so the graph should contain the hamiltonian cycle so here also there can be a multiple hamiltonian cycles for a single graph so that depends upon the selection of the source vertex so it is not a mandatory that we have to consider only one vertex as a source so it's completely your choice and you can start from any vertex that will be the source vertex and you have to visit all other vertices exactly once and you have to come back to the source vertex so hamiltonian graph let me write this hamiltonian graph and hope you understood the difference between hamiltonian path and hamiltonian cycle so hamiltonian graph any graph having hamiltonian cycle hamiltonian cycle or a circuit anything you can call right hamiltonian cycle or hamiltonian circuit then it is called hamiltonian graph hamiltonian graph right so this example you can see this is i mean a uh, hamiltonian path can be possible but hamiltonian cycle can't be possible now see let us just redraw this one i will remove this particular vertex and let us see this one okay there is no vertex here only four vertices are there a b c a b d e now you can see the hamiltonian cycle so start with a a to b b to d d to e and e to a there is a direct edge from e to a so it forms this graph is having the hamiltonian cycle so this graph is a hamiltonian graph 
and what about the Hamiltonian path? Let us check this one Hamiltonian path. See A, A to B, B to D, D to E. Yes, Hamilton, it also contains the Hamiltonian path because starting from here, we see all the vertices exactly once. And here you can see the starting vertex and the ending vertex. The source and destination vertex are different. And here you can see the source and destination vertex are equal. So this is a Hamiltonian graph. Hamiltonian graph. Right? And previously we have seen uh, one more vertex here. And uh, this graph doesn't have the Hamiltonian cycle. So this is not a Hamiltonian graph. Right? Yes. So let us see an example. So let us take the three examples so that we will be getting any clarity. So uh, if you are still having any uh, some sort of doubts, right? So let us take this graph. So you can, now you can see all the three are different graphs. Okay, three are different graphs. Now we have to check with whether uh, it is it, these are the Hamiltonian graphs or not. So as per our discussion, if the graph is having at least one Hamiltonian cycle, then we can say it is a Hamiltonian graph. It doesn't depend upon the Hamiltonian paths. So coming to this one, so let us consider Hamiltonian cycle. So Hamiltonian cycle, let us start with A. So A to B, so A to B, B to D, D to E, E to C, and C to A. Yes, so it forms the Hamiltonian cycle. So starting with A, so I'm just giving one arrow. So this is a source vertex. So source vertex and visiting all other vertices exactly once and finally reaching to the source. So this is a Hamiltonian cycle. So obviously there will be a Hamiltonian path also. Hamiltonian path, the same thing without uh, reaching to the source, we can have this Hamiltonian path. Okay, now coming to this one, let us uh, find out the Hamiltonian cycle here. So let us start with the B. Okay, let us start with the B. So B to A, A to E, E to F, F to C, C to D, and sorry, C to B, C to B. So B is already visited, you need not worry about that. So obviously C to D and D to A, D to A. So here you can see. And again A to B, then only it forms a cycle. But you can observe the A is visited twice. A is visited twice. So let us check with the one more uh, example, right? So let us start with the D. D to C, C to B, B to A, A to E, E to F, F to C. And again, C to D. You can see the vertex C has been visited twice. Okay, C has been visited twice. So we can't say that this is an Hamiltonian graph. So once check out with all the possibilities, if it forms any Hamiltonian cycle, then simply you can say it is a Hamiltonian graph. So once observe with all the possibilities and just give the comment whether this graph is a Hamiltonian graph or not. Coming to this one. So here there will be Hamiltonian path. Hamiltonian path. So you can observe. Let us start with the B. B to A. A to D. D to C. C to F. F to E. This is a Hamiltonian path. So again, it should go for A, E to B. Okay. So, but Hamiltonian path means 
we have to visit all the vertices exactly once this happens here. And coming to this one, Hamiltonian cycle, let us see Hamiltonian cycle, start with the F, F to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to G, and G to F. C. You can check if we have started from we have started from F, F to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to G, and G to F. So starting vertex, the source vertex, and destination vertex both are same here. And obviously, there will be a Hamiltonian path also. So that is F to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, and E to G. So we see all the vertices and we will stop at the last vertex once it visited the last vertex right so this is the process how we will be finding the hamiltonian graphs so two things we have discussed hamiltonian path and hamiltonian circuits so if any graph contains at least one hamiltonian cycle that we call it as a hamiltonian graph and remember one more thing so one graph can have a multiple hamiltonian paths as well as multiple Hamiltonian circuits or cycles also, right? So, hope you understood this one and if you are having any queries or doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.